I'm going to stand next to the wake like I'm getting ready to do a wake jump. Rusty's going to cut out of the way just before I get there. So I'm starting here as the boat straightens out. Now this is a time where I can start to cut out like I'm going to do a wake jump. I'm going to hold out here just a little bit, and then I'm going to go in for the third with my eyes on it. Here we go. I'd say you got it, Tim. <laughs> yep. Hey, what's up, y'all? Sean Murray here today. We're showing you guys how to hit the double up. I'm out here with my homeboy, Rusty. See, like, this looks amazing. Now I'm hitting second roller. That looks great. All right, you guys, so earlier on today, we did a little edit on how to drive the double up. We got Jake driving uh, me and Murray right now. I'm about to do a left double up. Murray's gonna hang out in the middle here. And um, I'm gonna kind of just talk through it and tell you what roller I'm hitting and what the angle looks like. And if it's good, I'll hit it. If it's not, I won't. I'm gonna roll in and hit roller number three. <laughs> For the way I like double ups up, double up was a little bit too open. I like mine more teed up, so I was able to hit it, but if I was trying a trick that I wanted to hit, that wouldn't have gave me the kick that I like. So he'll make the adjustment on this double up and should be good. So as a rider, what you really want to do is you want to make sure that you're giving yourself a decent mellow weight jump edge. So to do that, once the boat straightens out, that's when you're gonna cut away. So you can have a nice rhythm of cutting out, speed to settle out, you start drifting in, and you wanna pick out that roller way before you start to go in. I always like to stay in the middle of the, behind the boat or on the opposite side of the boat of what double up I'm hitting. I think any bit of, uh, you know, messing your wakeboard on the roller that for the double up will, will affect it. So, I'm in the left, I had uh, Jake return to the right, now he's coming back in, he's going to make the adjustment a little more teed up than he did last time. This double up looks good. I like to go for the second roller. This double up looks great. I'm actually going to go roller number three on this one and get sent. Whee! So, for what it was, it was absolutely perfect angle the way I like it. Great double up, basic trick, but we're doing this video to show you guys exactly what's going on. And that was a perfectly teed up left hand double up. You want it open or teed? Teed up. All right, so I'm going to hand it over to Murray. He's going to hit a right hand double up to kind of keep it teed up. So we'll see how it works out for him. So I'm going to talk you guys through this on kind of where I'm looking what I'm trying to do, but the goal of the double up on top of the roller as I'm hitting the wake. There's a lot of energy in that roller. It is moving towards you and the wake technically is moving at you. So there's a lot of push, which creates a lot of pull. So I'm gonna get off my, this is the setup roller. I call this the run out. So we did the pre-turn and now the, this roller over here is what I'm getting ready to hit. So I don't wanna stand on it and send little rollers so I have to hit those things. So I'm gonna get over here to get away from all of that so I don't mess it up. Now the boat's starting to set it up and he's gonna start looking back at the run out so that he can hit the right angle. I'm just gonna keep riding around as we're getting going, losing your rhythm, you still wanna ride around, have some fun, right? So I'm gonna stand next to the wake like I'm getting ready to do a wake jump. Rusty's gonna cut out of the way just before I get there. So I'm starting here as the boat straightens out now this is a time where I can start to cut out like I'm going to do a wake jump. I'm going to hold out here just a little bit, and then I'm going to go in for the third with my eyes on it. Here we go. I get up. Whoa. Woo. Got a lot of that one. 
Was that too open? That looked like a weird angle. It was all right. Um, it was a lot of kick, and that was only the third one, but I honestly got a lot of juice on it. Had I waited till the next one, the last one, that would have been a lot of kick, but I just wanted to get all the juice. Didn't really do a grab or a trick, but I had some hang time. All right, we're just going for an indie glide. I'm gonna try to pivot off my front foot. I'm gonna wait, I cut out a little too early that last time, waiting till the boat's starting to get a little bit of a bounce. Now I'm gonna give a cut out. I'm picking out my roller now. I'm watching that roller. I just wanna go meet it. Here we go. Whoa, Woo! caught a little downside. So dirty, but we hit it. We got some air. That was great. All right, Rusty, your turn. All right, I will. Boat is uh, making its free turn to set the roller. I personally don't like to mess around and be on the outside of the boat. Wake, I don't think, I think any little bit of you carving around on the outside here can affect the roller, the setup roller for the double up. So I just hang out behind the boat. Once he starts his turn, you can go back on this side to do whatever you want. Definitely set up. This is very teed up double up. The workout really good. Go for a big indie back that 180 off the second roller. <laughs> that was yeah. good. Yeah, I like to give my driver a little credit, let him know that that was perfect. That's the way I like it. And uh, yeah, that was it. Check, check, check it out. We're crazy guys. You just flipped up around here. That was big! Ah oh. No promises. Looks good though. Oh my gosh. Oh, I man. almost died. <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> Dude, I was chasing you into the double up. And then I stopped so I didn't get blasted, but I went over all the double. Did you get to do I think so. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Come on. There we go. Hey, Rusty, when you want to do a double up, what symbol do you use? Left. Yeah. Right. I'll do this. <laughs> I do that. It's the double up. <laughs> you just gotta come up with your signal so the driver knows. <laughs> oh, I think I got that. Wiggy, wiggy, wag. That's a big one. Whoa. This is big. This is a big one. Whoa, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. sunglasses the whole time yeah okay is it recommended I don't know I think it helps <laughs> yeah I don't know if there's a safety issue or whatever but it worked out so thank you guys for watching Rusty thanks for walking us through that that was a lot of fun um, most of the time we're always messing around and it's more comedy but I thought it was cool to actually create something that can help people like fully learn how to hit double ups and take everyone through what I feel is like the right way to drive and line up and hit double ups and the way you like them, so it, it worked out well and I had a good time. Super fun. So the these new boats, we're out on a, a Super Aeronautique G23 Paragon. This wake without the double up is massive. We used to have to have double ups like to do tricks. So if you've got like a smaller boat, um, is it's definitely something that can allow you to take tricks to the next level, right? Like, cause we yeah. used to have to hit them. That's how I learned a lot of, um, you know, stepping up on trick level at, when I was at the beginning of my career. When the wakes weren't as big, the only way to really progress into like a heel seven or something for me was off the double up. That's kind of interesting. It's not to call like younger riders out, but because the wakes are so big, not that many of them hit double ups. Yeah. Some do. 
totally. Some can really, you know, smack them, but hopefully you guys can too now. So if you guys have any questions or comments about this, other content, ideas, feel free to put those below. And if you don't already subscribe, maybe consider doing that and you can hit the notification bell so you know when videos go live. Maybe get that first comment. I don't know. And you got all the new merch you hooked me up with? Yes, you guys can go check that out at seanmurray.com. In fact, today we brought over uh, Ryan. He's my buddy from Tampa. He is a wakeboarder. And it's who I get my merch from. So it's right here in the U.S. And we ship them out ourselves. So if you guys want to get that, seanmurray.com. Check it out. Lots of fun stuff. And uh, if you like and share, that is always appreciated. No matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. Peace! Peace.